Thank you, Tania, and good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of the Ford Foundation, it is my great pleasure and honor, actually, to welcome you to today's symposium, Accounting for Violence, How to Increase Safety and Break Our Failure resilience, Reliance on Incarceration. The Ford Foundation has been a proud supporter, I have to say, of common justice for several years now, and of the Vera Institute of Justice for many years before that. Um, and, you know, we salute the pioneering work that both these important institutions have done to make our justice system smaller, more effective, and more equitable. And we are especially pleased and proud to be supporting one aspect of common justice work in particular. Indeed, a most urgent agenda for justice reform in the United States confronting the problems of violence. The urgency is both practical and moral in its dimension. The practical dimension is that 53% of those in prison today are incarcerated for a crime or violence and that the movement to end mass incarceration will fail unless we address it as a priority of reform. And then there is the moral dimension we must confront. First, that protecting people from, the, from harm as an essential, essential responsibility of a, any society. And second, that prison has largely failed to deliver safety, including, and most of all, to those living in communities most impacted by crime and incarceration. Yet, as a reform movement, we have largely failed to address violent crimes in our advocacy for decarceration. And as a society, we have failed to address the underlying causes of violence as a matter of either public health or crime prevention. The drivers of violence are, of course, not small challenges. As Daniel's report um, points out, poverty, trauma, shame, isolation, and unhealthy masculinity all lie at the root of violence, as does prison, which too often releases people more broken and degraded than they entered it, homeless, traumatized, and unable to meet their economic needs. This conference is also important in its insistence that we hold ourselves and the system to account for racial equity in addressing the problems of violence. To recognize that the face of crime victimization we see on the news, typically white and female, does not actually reflect the reality of who most often suffer violence in these countries. That is to say, faces are black, brown, and male. Finally, today's conference stands as a reminder that our commitment to shrink the criminal justice system must be equally matched by a commitment to displace it with solutions that actually produce safety and healing. The Ford Foundation could not be prouder to stand in support of this necessary amplification of efforts, and I have to say we could not be prouder that Tanya Koch is our colleague leading this work at Ford. It is my hope then when we, look at, when we look back at this moment in the history of the movement to end mass incarceration, we, would th we will think of today as the day we forthrightly took up the challenge to embrace safety and healing. Not merely as a tactic in our strategies to achieve justice reform, but as an, as an essential component of it that we cannot continue neglecting. Thank you.